Hi guys, uh, welcome to Flash Fact. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the PvP vendors in the Watchtower, at the hero PvP vendors. Uh, essentially, we just had a new uh, PvP style that was added into the game, a PS style that, that's inspired by Deadshot. And a question that keeps on popping up is, where do you buy the PvP gear? So let's go and take a look. So let's go to the Watchtower. I'm going to show all the, the PvP gear, or the, the PvP vendors. Uh, essentially, there's, uh, there's some PvP vendors in each wings. So let's start with the, the tech wing. In the tech wing, there's our friend Rob in here who sells uh, the PvP gear. So once you reach level 30, uh, Robin is one of the first vendors you're going to need to 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 see to purchase some PvP gear. So you can see Robin is selling some 90 uh, item level 97 gear, and he's also selling some item uh, 96 gear. So let's give you a small. So you can see the the chest of the 96 gear, and you can see the chest here of the 97 gear. I'm not going to show you the whole gear because it's pointless. But essentially, this is the first. Uh, these two sets are the first PvP gear you you can uh, purchase, and you need to purchase. Uh, let's say you need to purchase like the 97 gear before you can purchase the 98 gear, and then you need to purchase the 98 gear before you can purchase the 99 gear. So Robin sells some 96 and 97 gear. And again, you have to purchase the whole set before you can uh, purchase the, the next set. And the whole set means that every piece is of gear. And you have to purchase two rings. You have to purchase the neck piece. You have to purchase the, the trinket. And also you have to purchase the weapon. The weapon is sold by our little friend here. So usually the pattern is that you have uh, one vendor for the gear and one vendor for the weapon. Again, he's selling the 97 weapons and he's selling the 96 weapons. So let's go see the... Essentially, each wing has such a vendors. We're going to take a quick look at all of them so that uh, you guys can know exactly where they are. So here we have our friend, uh, oh no, it's Aquaman. We have our friend Aquaman who's selling uh, some PvP gear. So again, it's the very same gear that Robin is selling. 97 gear and 96 gear. And uh, eons ago, the, the style that you see in the, in the display used to be the style that Aquaman is selling. Uh, that's no longer the case. But I will show you where you can purchase the style in the display if you want to. And again, same as Robin. The little robot is selling the weapons. So let's go to the, uh, the, the meta wing. Oh, wrong way. In the meta wing, Hog Girl is selling the PvP gear. And again, the gear that you see displayed in the vendor, no longer the gear that's uh, that that she's selling. Nice, right? And again, she, uh, as you can see, she's selling the 97 gear and the 96 gear. And our little friend, the robot here, is selling uh, the same weapons: 97 weapon, 96 weapons. So essentially, once you reach level 30. These are the three vendors you can you can purchase gear from. From you can purchase gear from either Hot Girl, Robin, or Aquaman. Once you've purchased the whole set from Hot Girl, Robin, and Aquaman, then there is oh, going too quickly. There is another vendor that you can uh, go see, which is essentially between the the Meta Wing and the Magic Wing. There's actually a few vendors. Sorry about that, my 
the wire of my headset was stuck. So here you have uh, pretty much the rest of the PvP gear. Again, as you can see, actually the Hawkeye gear is still there, or the Huntress gear is still there. So let's go all the way down. If you come and see this vendor and you cannot see uh, the gear you're looking for, it's quite simply because you do, you did not purchase the, the, the previous gear. You, you won't be able to see the gear that uh, this vendor is selling until you purchase the, the previous gear from the previous vendor or from the previous uh, uh, level. Uh, it'll make more sense in a second. As you can see, also you can buy some uh, pre some uh, some mods that are prefab, some prefab mods. Well, that's what I, that was that's what I was looking for, and they, they have some uh, type six and type six expert. So the, essentially, you can see here our friend is selling some ninety eight gear. Oh, there's a variant for the just uh, never never saw that style before. Oh, that's nice. So I'll show you again just the, the chest piece so that you can uh, get an idea what the, the gear actually is. So this is the, the Vengeance gear. Uh, it's the essentially uh, inspired by the Huntress. You can see the, the chest piece here. So again, in order to be able to, buy, to purchase the 98 level gear, you have to purchase the complete 97 gear first. And uh, until you purchase the, the, the 987 gear, you won't see the 98 gear at this vendor. And the same is true with the 99 gear. In order to be able to even see the 99 gear, you have to purchase the complete 98 gear first. And this is the gear that's inspired by our friend uh, Red Tornado. It's called the Elemental Android gear. And then you can see what the chest piece looks like. And again, in order to be able to get the 100 gear, you have to purchase the complete 99 sets of gear. And that means two rings. You have to purchase two rings also. Two rings, the neck piece, the trinket, all the, all the, the, the everything. And once you purchase the, the complete 99 gear, only then can you see the, the 100 gear. The 100 gear is inspired by our friend uh, Nightwing. So you can see the chest here. And again, if you come to the vendor and you don't see the Nightwing gear, it's just simply because you 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 cannot uh, you cannot purchase it yet. And as you'll see, like right now, the Nightwing gear is the top gear that I can see. Uh, and after the the Nightwing gear, there is the Deadshot gear, which is come by item level one hundred and one. So again, as you can see, I cannot see the 101 gear because I did not purchase the complete 100 gear yet. So I'm going to have to purchase this whole set, two rings, the neck piece, and the trinket, and the weapon before I can even see the 101 gear. I hope this makes sense. I'm not sure why they made it like that, but anyway. It's a bit confusing because a lot of people will be looking for for the gear. Like they, they'll look at the vendor and they'll say, "Hey, this guy is selling no gear," and they, they they'll they won't understand that uh, they cannot see the gear because they cannot purchase it. Not sure why they didn't put the whole gear there and just uh, put a restriction saying that you need the uh, combat rating, uh, let's say 100, before you can purchase the 101 gear. But anyway, ah, oh, the nicest grimace sticks. Sorry about that. And again, it's the very same thing here for the weapons. So you can see our friend is selling the 98 uh, weapons, and then the 99 weapons, the 100 weapons. And again, I cannot see the 101 weapons because I did not purchase the complete 100 gear. And as you can see, there's a... I mentioned before, like uh, the, the 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 Hawkman gear that uh, that was displayed next to uh, to to Hawk Girl, or even the the Shazam gear that was displayed next to Aquaman. Uh, those gears are can no longer be sold by those vendors. If you want to have those those uh, those uh, those styles, you have to purchase them from this little robot here. So this robot sells the old PvP styles that were essentially removed from the game. So they removed the gear from the game, and they, they placed the styles with this robot. As you can see, there are 800 marks of victory each. 
it's not that expensive, but there's a lot of them. So before you can purchase them all, it, it'll, it'll take a while. So you can see our friend. I'm just going to show the chest piece to give you an idea. So you see the, the trench coat here. You see the Archangel uh, chest here. And this is the, the Shazam gear that's right next to, to Aquaman. So the, the gear that you see displayed next to Aquaman, this is the vendor where you have to go to purchase the style now. And this is the Hawkman gear that is displayed right next to Hawk Girl. So if you come here, you're going to be able to purchase that, that style. Now let's take a look at the wings. Not sure why the wings are metallic like that, but anyway. And this is the Robin gear. I didn't show it to you when we were next to Robin, but essentially in the, in the display next to Robin, this is the gear that you're, that you're seeing. And this is one of the checkmate gear, the checkmate operative. And there is another checkmate gear that's called uh, the checkmate informant. That's the, the chess piece that I, I'm already wearing. This is the virtuous knight gear. And that's pretty much it for, for, for all the, the PVP styles. So these were all the PVP vendors. Again, once you once you reach level 30 and you want to purchase some PVP gear, you can see either Robin, Aquaman, or Hot Girl, and you're going to purchase your first set of, of gear from them. And only once you've purchased the complete 97 uh, set of gear, that you're going to be able to come here and see our little friend the robot here and then you're going to be able to purchase the 98 gear and again only once you purchase the and you won't even see the until you purchase the complete 97 gear you won't even see the 98 gear and the same thing uh, if you want to see the 99 uh, the, the, the 99 level gear you have to purchase the complete 98 level gear and so on so I hope, I hope this made sense. It's a it's a bit confusing for for new players. So uh, if you if you've been puzzled by that, uh, it's it's normal. Everyone everyone was puzzled by that. I'll make a separate videos for the the villain vendors. So this was the PVP vendors for the heroes in the Watchtower. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.